California Nurses Association supports the Occupy movement. And we went to stand up and be counted as part of the 99%, along with teachers, firemen, bus drivers, and all families struggling to make ends meet while they're faced with layoffs, foreclosures, and cuts to basics. Occupy Oakland in response to the raid that just happened last week where they cleared the camp. And so there are many, many people, I don't know, maybe a couple thousand out here marching through the streets and shutting down the intersections to uh, raise awareness about the corruption that's going on in this country and hopefully bring a lot of change. Uh, these movements are happening more and more around the city and around the world and I think that there's a good chance that are happening because of this. We're outside of the Lakeville Lakeview School right up here that's closing down uh, looks like maybe next year uh, due to budget cuts and so that's why we're kind of mobilizing here uh, to kind of just to show our support and uh, you know for what they're going through which is something that is a lot of the educational system is really suffering a lot uh, because of the you know the way the system is structured and uh, I saw a great sign over there that said have you been trickled on yet <laughs> You know, kind of going referring to the trickle down theory, and it's like majority of us haven't, you know. Really, just kind of we're starting a new whole new paradigm, and the shift is definitely here. It's happening. We're in a new era, and uh, and this is pretty much what's, what's been prophesized for a long, long time. And this movement is going to be successful. I know it. This is our world, our earth. We have limited resources. Let's share. It's okay to be wealthy. It's okay to work hard and to go after your own goals to provide for your family. And we want that. We want you to be happy and to grow and thrive. But we want that for everyone. Less pain and suffering for all. Occupy Oakland's newest encampment, 19th and Telegraph. I don't think we have a name for it yet, but I know we'll come up with something good. Uh, they tried to put a fence around it, trying to fence off the land and earth all over the world, but people are tearing down walls all over the world, not just physical ones, but also psychological ones that we build between each other and that the rich build between us and them. So basically, walls are coming down, people. The earth is rising, and I'm psyched to be a part of it. Peace. Recently, the, a lot of the just uh, apartment buildings have gone in, and I and from what I'm told, there was low-income housing here for years that got torn down because the, the city said it was unlivable. Now they've put in these huge, uh, big apartment buildings all around here, and a lot of people can't afford to live here. So this is a very crucial area of.
have Oakland to be occupying because of the gentrification issue and also because of the high visibility. We're also right next to the Fox Theater across from the Uptown and Sears. So we're hoping a lot of people will um, will be walking down the street and see what's happening and join in. And um, we're really happy that we have uh, claimed an uh, empty lot, which has been fenced in, which is something I drive by almost every day. And I see nothing going on in it. And now um, it's full of life and there are a lot of good things that are going to happen here. At the, uh, the other place, which is in front of City Hall, the Oscar Grant Plaza, which we occupied for a month, um, we uh, had a media center there. We had a children's village with toys and child care. We had health care there. Um, we had a clinic coming and doing um, rapid HIV testing. Free health care 24 hours a day. We had a soup kitchen that was feeding about 600 people a day. Um, before Occupy Oakland had gotten, had started occupying that park, the park was already being occupied by homeless people. Um, so I would say about 25% of that encampment was already homeless before the Occupy Oakland started. Um, one of the really beautiful things about it was to see how these people joined the movement and, and really stepped up to take care of each other. Um, I feel like at, at Occupy Oakland we were solving problems that the city hadn't been solving, such as homelessness, lack of health care, lack of shelter. Um, we solved all those problems over there. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a beautiful movement in that respect to see um, how the 99% can learn to get along and work it out and take care of each other. Because obviously the 1% isn't going to take care of us. So we we got to do it ourselves. And that's what this is about.